Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run on this week's Nightfall Ordeal. I'm doing it on Master Difficulty, it's a Platinum, and I'm doing it on Middle Tree uh, Dawnblade, which is obviously Well of Radiance. So, Nightwatch, Stars and Shadow, and I'm using Xenophage. Now, I've obviously using Xenophage, that means I've probably went with a Warmind build, so as you can see there, the most important ones you need is Wrath of Rasputin, which obviously allows the Xenophage to make Warmind cells. Got Fire Team Medicom, Global Reach, War Mines Protection, which you take less damage from ads near the War Mine cells, and Rage of the War Mind, which increases the damage of them. Now I'm also running on the Bond. I'm running Spoils of War and Surge uh, Scout Rifle Scavenger, Machine Gun Scavenger on the legs, Concussive Dampener, Machine Gun Reserves on the Phoenix Protocol to help me get my. My super back faster, anti-barrier, anti-pulse, and machine gun ammo finder on my helm. Now, I don't really like the strike. <laughs> it's it's no secret that I'm not a big fan of the strike. I did I did consider doing it on Grandmaster, but I, there's no real reason to do Grandmasters. And you're probably going to see most of the Grandmaster runs are going to have the Anarchy, and I'm trying to do these runs without using that at the moment. So, as you can see, as soon as you come in here, you're going to you're going to be faced with a couple of ads. Now, the mods in here is, obviously, you take a lot more damage because it's on a Master. You've got Famine, and I, I think arc, elemental da arc Damage and Elemental Damage is increased. So, these Heavy Pikes are... They're really dangerous, so anytime we see a heavy pike, I've got a fair idea where they're going to come from. I'm just going to, it's one shot with a xenophage, so just be aware there's like three real places where you're going to deal with, with a heavy pike. The rest of the time in this first section, the first set of uh, these fonts of light, it's snipers. There are, there's basically, I think I think there's three heavy pikes you've got to deal with in, in this section. You've got one at the start, you've got one over to the right here, and then there's one when you get up to the next wave of ads. Not not this right, further on after the second font up here. Not this one. After this one, you'll have a sniper over on the right, and you'll have a heavy pike. So just, you know, when you know where the ads are coming from, you can, you can, you can kind of prep yourself for taking... Taking the snipers and taking the heavy pikes. Now I have got the other thing. I don't. I don't know if I said. It, I probably did. I've got scout rifle scavenger on, and that's because of farming. If you if you put ammo finder and scavenger on for the weapons you're using, it kind of negates farming. So farming is you don't drop the the ammo for the the weapon you're using. That kind of that kind of negates it. So, once you've took these out, I jumped on my sparrow here, I didn't need to, because the other one was right here. Uh, you're going to get the second font of light, so we've got a sniper here, and there's a sniper over to the right. I like to get them out of the way real, real fast. So, I like to take them from range. There we go. Now, this run, that something really kind of, really weird happened, actually. Halfway through this run, my controller died. You will see it in the video, my controller died, and luckily I didn't die. So... That's about, it's the first time it's ever happened in one of my runs, I think. So, as you can see, I'm just, I threw a grenade up there, I just took that little wave of ads. There's your last pike. Now, this time I didn't need to xenophage him because I knew he was coming. I just kept pounding him with the, the scout rifle. So, we're going to take these fonts here. Uh, and you've got two set, three sets of these ads where it's like, there's one up here where we, we just took them out. It's going to be like an elite, a, elite uh, fallen uh, drag with a couple of uh, shanks there we go there's going to be a set where we just were there's a set here actually there's four sets because there's one as you make your way up i'm just shooting at them now kind of want to try and take most of these before you you take the fonts alight because uh the rest of the the bulk of the ads won't come until you, you've cleared all those fonts so just go and get these and then what I what I decide to do, I, I you've still got another group of those guys up just right behind where we are. So I'm going to take this teleporter, this this this, uh, this uh, bungee teleporter thing, clear these ads out, and then a feature of this run is going to be creating war main cells. Now war main cells do the job so much faster, especially if you've got 
like we uh, wrath wrath of wrath of rasputin and all all the good stuff on so no i'm it, it no is just about creating war main cells so i'm just waiting for you see I've, I've created one there you see all those guys kind of lighten up they're lighting up because they're now gonna take my i'm not gonna take damage as much damage from them so unfortunately these guys are kind of sneaked in here already but that was it all the rest of the ads are gone now you've just got now you've just got this overload champion so the kind of thing with the overloads is you have to keep sustained damage on them if you don't they will st once they teleport once they practically regen fully and as you can see i'm getting this with this one to finish and every time i finish because i got spoils of war on i'm gonna get heavy ammo so it will allow me to use the xenophage more so I'm tr I just take these guys out here. I can be a little bit more free, but especially if you know if you can isolate a champion. I'm just going to go and pick up this brick of heavy that's back here, or that I thought was back here. Uh, it allows you to be a bit freer. If you know you can isolate a champion, you can be a little bit freer with your with your xenoph xenophage because you know you're going to get heavy ammo by finishing one. It's, it's not ideal uh, to, to, to put yourself in a in a dangerous position trying to finish an overload champion so as you can see this night watch does great damage i never pushed when i stopped him the first time i didn't go into the xenophage because i felt like as i was saying you don't want to put yourself in a position where you've got to run too far and still do too much damage to actually finish a champion you want to get the champion you want to be quite relatively close and get the champion into close to finishable position when you start pushing in one or two xenophase shots three max so as you can see we've got we've got a couple of these guys up here because they were in a little bit of cover uh the war mine cell didn't finish these guys so after we take him out we're in the first kind of main area now this is really i mean step by step to be fair it's not you're not really going to be if you, if, if you follow the rules, you're not really going to struggle here. The boss room is probably the most difficult, but hopefully the way I do it might, it, it, it might make a bit more sense. So now what I'm going to do is just explode these guys. I want to create a war mine until you see I have there. Couldn't get the, couldn't get the shot because the, the, the champion <laughs> Kept standing in front of it, so I couldn't get hitting it. So I'm just going to jump down here and get this last brick, the brick that I left back here. No, it's two overloads, so we're going to do it. We're going to finish one, we're going to kill one, and then we're going to finish the other one just to get our, our uh, heavy ammo reserves up. Remember to use your rift and head glitch this spot up here. You do get hit a ton up here, but as you can see, I'm, I'm, I'm putting decent damage on this guy. The, the 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 scout rifle damage is really good sometimes it is worth your while sometimes you you just want to uh let, let one of them go even though you've done a good bit of damage to them sometimes it's not worth staying in staying in the the damage section i've only put two shots on this guy because i need to keep that sustained damage on him because you know you're gonna have to reload you keep the sustained damage on him and 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 he won't regenerate as i say if he teleports once he's gonna re fully regenerate and like i was saying sometimes you've got to dip out of doing the damage just to keep yourself safe so the idea of this room is the waves of ads are linked to a percentage of the plate that you capture every time you see one ad it doesn't matter what ad it is get off the plate so you can see i've seen the ads coming i'm trying to create war mine cells just for the ad clearance and you can see that it actually didn't work so well there i think i never got a war main cell till the end put my rift down i'm not too bothered because it's an and that's the idea of coming off the plate because now i've got one singular uh overload champion that it's it's just me and him you know isolating them is not an issue so i've stopped him there he's I knew three shots would get him to the point, and I can, you know, you you can finish from quite far out. You don't have to be quite, you know, really, really right next to them. The finish is more like you more lunge at them. 
So now we're back on the plate. So you can see there we were just about at 10% when the ads come out. Now we're going to get another wave. As soon as the ads come, I'm going to get off the plate. You do not, there is going to be a section at 50% where you're going to, there's nothing you can do about it. You're going to get two barriers and you're going to get a couple of overloads. There's nothing you can do about it. But you don't want for as much as, as much as you can, you don't want uh, multiple, see that guy teleporting right up. I'm just going to break, if I can break this, there you go, just to make sure there's no more ads. This guy was teleporting around like crazy. He came right up and then all the way back down to where he should have been. My grenade throwing in this was pitiful. I apologize. I'm normally a lot better at throwing grenades than this. So you can see he was really aggressive, but he came up to me. And unfortunately, I ran out of ammo. And then he teleported. Do you see what I'm saying? Every teleport gets his health right back so this time I can put a couple of shots on and then get that sustained damage see how that's critting them the explosive rounds on the night watch just keep them kind of uh, stunned so now I had to it was my own fault I hadn't reloaded so I, the dis, I didn't disengage I had to get out of there because I'd have just died just kind of is the way it is sometimes. But uh, no harm, no foul. I knew I knew the minute I had to reload, he would teleport a couple of times and all my damage would have gone. So uh, just finish these guys. I know I've got some heavy bricks and I know there's still champions about. I'm just going to pick this heavy brick up. And as I say, you are going to do... Uh, you are gonna do. I decided not to. Not to. I knew that there was. There was only these guys here. So, see if I could get a heavy brick out of one of them. Uh, you are gonna have your hundred k when you come out of here. You know, just about for the, for the sheer number of of champions. So when you get to this point, you can see here 47, 48, You're gonna get a whole. You see, I'm I'm already ready to go. You're gonna get a whole host of ads at fifty percent. So I decided. The easiest thing to do is to try and create a war main cell. You see I have there, but I can't get it because the champion's there. So I'm just expelling a little bit. There it is there. I'm just So what I tried to do was just hit behind it. But I actually worked out not too bad because I think what happened here was I think I exploded it anyway. And then created another one. I don't actually I don't think I did explode it. I did create another one. I just put that grenade down there. Now, now that I've just bust that one and that clears quite a few ads, do that. Just make sure. And now I put my I put my rift my well down. And the teleporting of these 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 captains was insane. They just were teleporting like all over the place. I couldn't get a decent bead on any of them. So I was just trying to stop one so you know, maybe give myself one that I could actually go after. But they were there was just too much. So my suggestion would be that 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 well. Maybe put it down. You see there, I just tried to just get one out of the way. Maybe just put it down a bit further back. Don't don't be standing the right line. You can see I've also I must also have the mod on uh because it, they're getting lit up, which means I'm doing more damage against them when I'm getting lit up, I think. Maybe the other one does the same thing. So now I've just decided we just want to keep this guy. I'm, I'm, I I think I finished the last one. I just wanted him dead. There we go. So it's just me and this guy up here. And the teleport is just mental. I've always hated, always hated the champions in this. I don't really have... I used to have a really massive problem with champions. Don't anymore. Now that it seems like Bungie's took the hint that double primary, bad. Tons of champions with double primary, really bad. So, it seems like primary weapons do a ton more damage against champions. So I don't really have a problem with double primary. Uh, Grandmasters, I still think, are, you know, I'll probably get one done. Because I like to get one done, you know, when I'm in this kind of challenge mode that I get into sometimes 
I like to get one done. Uh, I'm not really, you know, really too fussed at <laughs> getting multiple, you know, GMs done. I think I've done two solo ones, so we'll, we'll, we'll see what ones there are this season. Uh... So once you get once you get these champions and you see here it's gonna leave us we're gonna be on about ninety odd percent. So just put that grenade there. I want to finish this guy because I'm really really low on uh, on heavy. Once I break his shield, that should put him put him in finishable position. Got two bricks there, so it put us back up to twenty four rounds. No, you're still gonna get that's the, that's the barrier champions done. You're still going to get a few overloads. But now you're going to start getting heavy shanks. Those big solar shielded shanks. So again, we just want to try and get a war main cell out of this. Because we know we're going to have a ton of adds. There's another overload. So, But the reason why I pushed back is because it wasn't, wasn't because the overload. Because the overload's no problem. It was because there were other ads and I didn't really want to be dealing with the overload while I was getting pushed by marauders or whatever they were. I don't think they were they were snipers. I think they were actually marauders. So I really took a chance here. Slide and finish. You don't really want to be that far out when you're going for the finish. As you can see, my controller died. Managed to get it back on and it the, the the strange thing about it is it died. It never died. It just turned off. So weird. It just turned off because I haven't done anything different. I've turned it on and I'm fine. But what I've done here, I think, I think uh, right here, I, I'm plugging my controller in just to make sure that doesn't happen again. It's never happened during a run before. It's crazy. Uh, and I knew that there was another, another, I knew I was getting pushed by more than one ad. And that's why I push back to the stairs. I've got another brick of heavy out there. So all <clears throat> we're all sorted. No harm, no foul. Never, never messed the run up. So again, just rinse and repeat here. Every time you see one ad come out, we've got these the heavy shanks. I'm going to try and get rid of one straight away. Every time you see an ad. Uh, get off the plate and I was hoping it didn't actually happen because of the amount of time it takes to get another ad out and how long these war main cells last I was hoping that another wave of ads would come out while I still had this war main cell out and the minute I seen an ad I shot it and I got I think I got one ad oh actually I got a couple ads but not as many as I would have liked so we've got another heavy shank. I'm just trying to see if I can get another war main, war main sail. This time I just put a grenade down and this shank went back into it. Just trying to save save any heavy because now that we're getting it, 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 we were about 70 all coming up for 80% when I got off the plate that time. So what we're kind of looking at here uh, because of the percentage is when... When we get back on, I think I think the next wave of ads, it might be this wave of ads, it's definitely a wave of ads that once once you get back on the plate and you're at 90% or 88%, that's it, you're not going to get any more ads. So I'm looking to have close to full heavy at that point because we need to get to the boss with full heavy. You know, because I'm going to let you into a little secret here. <laughs> Xenophage isn't the best heavy for, th for doing this right i i am still in that vein from the community post that i put up where people were complaining about the anarchy the anarchy is really good for this i, I if i if i was if i was using the anarchy for content i'd have, I'd have, I'd have done the grandmaster because i'm not saying the grandmaster is easy but there's there's quite an easy cheese for the boss there's a place you can go and there's a setup you can use and i'm pretty sure it's I'm pretty sure uh, Esoteric's done it. I think he's done it now a couple of times. Uh, and I was very interested. I don't watch a lot of PvE runs because they're all the same. People copying other people. And, and I don't, I, I'm not saying my runs are original or they're the best runs. I just don't want them to be carbon copies of someone else's run. 
So now that it's been done with Anarchy a couple of times, I was interested to see how he'd done it, and that's the way he'd done it. So, because I'm not using Anarchy, it makes that a little bit more difficult, because as you'll see here, full full ammo on on the, the Xenophage, that wouldn't kill that boss, even if you could just stand there with 32, which is what I'm, I'm running, 32 heavy. It wouldn't kill the boss. If I could just hit him with 32 and you'll see that so but because people want to see runs that there are maybe they, they haven't got the anarchy and that'll be the one weapon they don't have I'm not doing runs with the anarchy so if I can do a grand master this season that doesn't involve the anarchy then I'll do it but the the ex, extra crash 100% so, again, as you can see, if you are taking anything from a heavy pike, just just expel uh, a Xenophage round. Don't, don't, unless you've got the high ground and cover, then then you can maybe go at them with a scout rifle. But other than that, just, just hit them with, just hit them with a, just hit them with a Xenophage. So, uh, the next kind of obstacle, which, when I was actually thinking about doing this run, I did not take this into consideration as an obstacle. Is the spider tank. Now, some people are probably thinking, what? A spider tank? If you're wanting to save Xenophage, which you're going to need, then you can't really use a lot on this boss. As you can see what I'm trying to do, and it's something I didn't know as well. I found out doing this. I'm trying to get some heavy. But you actually score points in this area. Who knew? Somebody knew. I didn't know. So, again, I'm looking at... You can see here me changing to this absolutely ridiculous pulse rifle that's not very good when you're moving around. Uh, and that's why I kind of switched back, because it was really bad. I'm trying to get some heavy. Uh, heavy ammo scavenger. Got four pulse rifle rounds. Thank you for that. A uh, couple of heavy shanks here. Just want to get, see if I can get some ammo. I know I've got an overload champion when we get in here that I can isolate. And I'm hoping I can get just a little bit of heavy on top of that. Won't with 32 rounds. Now, a real cool thing that you can do here is not attack the spider tank. And there seems to be, there's going to be a minotaur. And the Minotaur does a ton of damage against the Spider Tank. I've hit the I've hit the tank a couple of times. You'll see when we actually go back there. I'm just I'm not one. I jump up here and didn't realise this is Vex territory. So I thought, oh, that was a little goblin there. And then looked and was like, oh, that's a sniper on the left. <laughs> Whoops. So I just switched back to switch back to the scout. Tump room. We'll go down here. No, we won't. That's a Minotaur. <laughs> And then just got out of dodge. So, decided, well, we'll just see what we can get from this overload. And you'll see, I've only hit the spider tank a couple of times, and he's he's, he's under half health. Because the minotaur's been doing work. So, I'm just looking around to see if there's any other ads I can shoot. And just let the minotaur have his way with the spider tank. The first time I'd done this, I got to this point. The first time I was trying this. I got to this point, and used all my heavy... And all my scout rifle killing the spider tank. I hadn't considered that that would be a thing. You can see uh, I'm, I'm going with the move forward a little bit, try and get an angle on the, on the crit. I'm 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 using the, the the scout rifle, and you can just you really can just expel a heap of rounds. So I've decided, well, I've, I've got a couple of hundred pulse rifle rounds. We we'll just we we'll just go with the pulse, just to put damage on. But if left to his devices, the, the Minotaur will deal with the spider tank. I know it takes a bit of time, but as you can see, it was 20, 23 minutes on the clock, 124,000. If you're worried about scoring a Master Nightfall, you're doing something wrong. You sh that, that should be the last thing you're worried about in a Master Nightfall. It's the score. You're going to get the score. You know? So, yeah just whittle this guy down and then and then we're inside that's him dead as soon as you kill him the minotaur goes so i know i've got 
I know I've got some primary ammo over here, which just is lovely for a scout rifle. Another brick there. There we go. We're going here with full pulse and full scout. So as soon as you get in here, there's an explosive barrel right in front of you. That's the thing we're going to use to clear the majority of the ads. And then it's just really the thing we're worried about next. You see that explosive tank there. And it takes out a bundle of them. And I've got a war mine cell, which should clear the rest of the normal ads. And there's my boy there. Got a little bit nasty between me and him. I didn't want to push too much to the right. Because the snipers up top and, and they really do have a little look at you from here. You know, you can get yourself in a bit of trouble if, 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 if you allow it. So, just want to get them stopped again. And I decided I'll just put a couple on them. And then just finish them. Now I'm relying on getting more heavy from the other ads. So I haven't really dropped a lot using the scout. So, going by old Destiny 1... Uh, protocol you just switch weapon just keep switching weapon until you drop one till you, till you start dropping it and it's just something that i've always went with i'm also trying to save scout rifle because the scout rifle is going to be one of our main sources you see there we've got got another brick of heavy and that's us at 32 so now it's just clear clearing the path just take a couple of those ads from here and so now, we're, literally, you just can clear your path up here. We're going to speak about the boss now. So when we get into the boss room, we're going to be going up to the left. We're going to be going behind the boxes on the left. Now, the way we're kind of going to try and work it is, when the ads come out, and the boss will come out with the ads, we're, we're going to try, we're going to, we'll be hitting the boss as well, obviously. But our job is to create a war mine cell to clear all the ads. It just... It's a time thing, it's it's an everything thing. See, you know, you clear them in a timely fashion, you don't use a lot of ammo to, to kill them, you know, and, and you, you're you going to get that healing burst, and everything's good if you can clear the ads with a war mind cell. Now, we're going to try as... Try to hold on to that that rift were well irradiance for as long as possible because we're not sure how many of them we're going to get are we going to get another one when we need it we have got rifts but bearing in mind the rift won't the rift will give you protection it will not save you from the boss so behind this box up here it's just seem, this seems to be different from the way it was before if you go down to the right where i am now you get more cover than you do from the left so Boss has spawned in, you've got that visual cue, that flash. Here he is coming through the center. So right off the bat, I'm going to put a, well, a rift down. And I'm going to try and put enough damage on him that he goes. So you see, immediately, that grenade down, immediately, I took my focus off the boss and onto the adds. We want a war main cell. Now I have to put the well down. So I have to kill a good amount of adds. War main cell gets rid of the boss. You see, I'm going down here for this ammo. I'd seen that I dropped ammo here. Now we put some on him. Try and get more ads to appear. More ads have appeared. We want another war main cell if possible. There it is. And there go the ads. That's that is what you want. Now you can see what I know a heavy ammo a little bit here. Now, that's all the ads gone. No, 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 but probably we're in lane uh, to get a champion. Now, I'm trying to get, put, putting a rift down. We're close enough, close enough to get, to get our, unfortunately that dropped. And you can see I'm like, I'm panicking now. So I've thrown my grenade. I say panic, I'm not panicking, but. You know what I mean? I'm like, ooh, this could be dangerous. So I'm wanting to get my rift. If you, if you're getting, there we go. I've got my well. Now I'm going to take this champion out. If I can get a war main cell beforehand, that would be good. But now what I had to do was, see, I'm taking a lot of heat. 
actually what I ended up doing was uh, just crouching here, get my health back. That was perfect. We got him to move, and he moved more to our side. Scout rifle him, get him finishable, get that heavy ammo. We're back in business. Drop two bricks. Right? So I'm just going to reload, get a, get, a, get a rift down. Remember, you can slide more to the right to get more, hit more cover. So now we just want to clear some of these ads. War main cell clears anything that we haven't already cleared. And now we want him just to disappear quickly. There he goes. Going for that heavy. Two bricks here. All oh, lovely. Feed me. So, now we're going to get two champions. War main cell is imperative here. So, grenade. Get my overshield and my health back. And now I can see I've got a war main cell. There we go. All those ads. Not too bothered about killing this. Stunning them here. So I've decided I'm not gonna you know, there's there's the there's the finish. Get back up here. I decided lovely that I needed to finish him, but it was a tactical risk. We needed the heavy, so you know, if I, I'm, I'm just seeing what I can get. Can I get another war main cell? Right, so we're just going to put a little bit on this guy. Get him, get his shield up and try and do it. If we can keep him where he is now, that's perfect. So, put a couple of shots on him. Reload my pulse because we're going to have to just whittle him down. You see I'm taking a little bit of heat. Put the, put the grenade down. And as I say, we're just, we, we see we're brick a heavy, slide out, get that back in. And he'll have his shield back up. Managed to stop him. All this, it, it literally is you're playing around your heavy ammo. Now I've moved to the right. You can do that, that you'll see me do this towards the end. So, uh, the boss can hit you from certain places easier than he can in other places. Using that cover, like I was saying, using that right hand, left hand, making sure that you're using the right cover. Right, see, he's moved right. This is perfect. So break his shield, get him finishable, get him out there. And then I decided I wasn't going to bother. Going to get a heavy just yet. We want, we want to see what the. I wanted to see what the environment was like. I've got a rift. I've got a well, sorry. Put the well down. No, I want to get rid of him. So I'm going to keep some a little bit of heavy. See there, I'm just putting him, put, putting my scout on him. I just want rid of him. There's no other ads here. It's just me and him. And he, I'm not going to let him get me to the point where he could almost kill me. Just looking around to see what I've got. Have I got any heavy lying about? No heavy. Where's the boss? Where's the ads? This will this should be the last wave of ads. And you'll see here this got this got a little bit clutch. So I put a couple of shots on him. And now what we want is a war main cell. And there we go. No, I couldn't I couldn't break it. So I'm shooting. And I, I think that because I was shooting, and because he was taking, I was taking less damage from him, that might have saved me, actually. And I couldn't get the war main cell. But I had another one on the other side, <laughs> which cleared every ad. Now, literally all we've got to do is keep moving from left to right and avoid the boss. But you'll see what I do. I didn't realise, I didn't realise I could do this. If you get into this position, so we've played, we've went through all the waves of ads, right? The Anarchy would have done it a lot faster. Lucent, you know, maybe the Lament with Lucent Blade might have been a little bit riskier, but I'd have done more damage on the boss. Maybe it would have been difficult to get the champions as well, but I'm, I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm not saying that this is by no means the best loadout. But it, I've done it like this because people don't like the Anarchy. Uh, if you get on top of the box... You just get on top of that blue box now, for at this point, after the wave, after, the, like this. I didn't realise I could do this. 
he can't get you. And it's not because he's stuck in that corner. If he gets round the corner, he sees teleport. He's teleported round to my left. I just move round the box. I didn't realise I could do that. And and that's it. That that is literally the run. Now I just put that empowered melee on him. And now I've run out of I've run out of scout. He's gonna get to a point in a second here where he's gonna realise. Here we go. It's on, and there we go. He tried to run away, never happened, and uh, he died. So, that's the run, guys. No anarchy involved. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm not too sure how many people are going to try and replicate that, but definitely, as you can see, if you're doing it in a fire team, if you've got someone running Xenophage and doing Ag Control, then you can run Lament, you can run a sword, and get your other teammates to just smash them with a sword, but... It's definitely doable solo. Using that, using the War Mind Cell build it really makes it a ton easier for you guys. Thanks for watching, guys. I always appreciate your support, and I will see you guys in the next video.